We've just seen evidence of a force that wiped out 170,000 lives and altered the rotation of the Earth. But tonight we can participate in a force more powerful than that, the power of giving, and help change the lives of those directly affected by this tragedy. And in the process, we change our hearts because you can't give and remain the same. All of the performers with us tonight are here because they were moved by the massive need of those crushed by the tsunami. But in the case of Brian Wilson, this impact was even more personal. The tsunami has brought a tide of grief to millions. Lost, an entire school filled with children in Moliteve on the Sri Lankan coast. Found Hans Bergström, an 18-month-old Swedish boy reunited with his father after being alone for days. The tsunami traveled as fast as a jet airplane and spread across almost 3,000 miles of ocean. Tsunamis do not slow down or lose power until they reach shallow water, when the immense wave hit thousands of miles of coastline. The effect was immediate and catastrophic. The survivors will be coping with the horror of this aftermath for years to come. Please offer your support to these survivors. They've lost their families, their homes, their livelihoods. Gleebrook Village is in the district of Aceh Bashar, about 50 kilometers to the southwest of Banda Aceh. It was a village of fields and crops, a white expanse of beach and fishing boats. As you can see, the coastline has been destroyed. The trees and fields have been uprooted. Houses have been smashed and carried away by the force of the water. Please counteract that devastation with the force of your giving. Satellite photo shows the Malay International Airport. It's located in the Republic of Maldives on neighboring Ulole Island. This country is made up of 1,200 coral islands. Malay is known for its beaches, sheltered by coral reefs. The after image was taken the day after the tsunami. Sand, trash, and wreckage clogged the runway. The boat marina is damaged, and the coastline choked with debris. For many years, Bandadacha was a popular honeymoon spot, the main gateway to the northernmost province of Aceh. It had exquisite museums and mosques, as well as lovely, pristine beaches. Now, the city of Bandadache has suffered catastrophic damage. Fields have been flooded. Parks are choked with mud and debris. In the Indonesian village of Kalang, before December 26, the population was 7,300. Today, over 5,000 from this village alone are missing. Three, two. Lok, Thailand was famed for its tranquility, its tropical gardens, and spectacular sunsets. Throughout the winter months, sea turtles migrated to Turtle Beach and laid their eggs in the sand. The tsunami swallowed the beaches and gardens, leaving pestilence and mud. In this area, over 5,000 people are confirmed dead. Bodies may still be trapped in the rubble of several beach hotels. And because Kaulak was a popular tourist destination, the dead comprised people from 36 countries. For those who have lost so much, please contribute.